Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today I hope to take and answer a subscriber question who asked when I made this bevel leaf scroll or split in scroll uh, video, I did a tutorial on this, I'll put a link right up there to it and I'll also put one down in the description down below if you haven't seen this video you ought to check it out. But he wanted to know about this area right here. I left a saw cut area where it just ended or it dead ended into the piece per se. If you look right there, that's where the saw cut ends, if you will. And his question was, don't you need to treat the end of that cut in some way? So therefore, when this thing is opened up or when it's installed, that you don't create a stress riser in the piece where something like this would break off or fail. Now, this question came up because I had made mention that this would be good for a hinge or something of that nature, and that if this thing had, had been pinned in as a hinge and it was load-bearing, that a spot like this could run a crack maybe up the piece or somehow uh, stress out the material and therefore fail the hinge, therefore lotting the door drop to its sudden demise. And my answer to that question is no. The reason for dressing the end of slots like this is usually, it is a correct assumption that it is a weak point. It is a spot now that all the workload could be focused at one point or one juncture. But I would like to take and remind you that this is an end detail. There will be no nails, screws, or otherwise load bearance to this portion of the scroll of the hinge whatsoever. You'll see commonly in old ironwork, you'll see where there's an area like this, that's where they have laid or they layered on two different pieces and they forge welded them together. And you'll see where the cold shut or the or the end of where the toe or the scarf did not weld in. If we applied the same logic that that is now a, you know, say a stress factor on an old wrought iron hinge, boom, we have big problems, right? Big, heavy, thousand pound church door falls, kills somebody, they go get even with the blacksmith, not a good deal. But we are working with modern steels as well now. And again, this is an end detail. So anything that's non-load bearing, that is simply just an ornamental piece, does not have to have uh, any sort of extra preparation at the end of the saw cut. In fact, it would look, well, frankly, it would just look mighty weird to have something there. Uh, say you drill a hole through it to stop things from splitting or... Um, another common thing is, is you'll see people put a fuller mark in there and fuller out the bottom of the cut, but you're still creating a pinch point. You're still creating a, a point of stress. So again, in that, the really the only way to stop a crack, if you have a crack in material starting to run up a piece, is to drill a hole at the end of that crack, and that effectively stops uh, the, you know, it from continuing and propagating out through the whole entire piece. Now, this is to my knowledge. If you know something different, drop it down in the comment section down below. If you have extensive experience in large architectural ironwork, uh, you can do that as well. If it really does bother you, about the only thing I see that is practical is putting a little weld on the back side here, a little MIG welder weld if you're worried about these pieces somehow working back and forth. But again, these have a lot of mass, a lot of thickness to them, and they're being screwed down back here, and all the weight and torsions back here, not on the end detail. So that's my thoughts about that. Let me know if you agree, disagree, or what you think I could say a little bit different about this down in the comment section down below. As always, if you'd like to support channels, uh, support this channel and more content like this in the future, a great way of doing that is checking out maybe a power hammer plan or an ebook over at blacksmithpds.com. So that's it for today. Hope you found this interesting. Let me know down in the comment section. As always, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next one.